All right. Yes, people throughout the world, coming to you with another song. All you men, women, boys, and girls, we should know it was Christ's blood that saved us. Praise God. The name of this song, we should know it was Christ's blood that saved us. All right, we want to encourage everyone throughout the world to believe in Jesus Christ and be saved. The only way to heaven. Jesus Christ is the only way to heaven, to paradise, to eternal life, to God. And he is God. He was God in the flesh. Praise God. Amen. John chapter 3 verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. John chapter 3 verse 16 and 17. But if you believe in Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. Believe in your heart. Confess with your mouth. Say, Lord, I believe in, it, in you. I, I believe that you, you came and died and was buried and you rose from the dead. Praise God. You shall be saved. Get baptized in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. And that's in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20, in which after Jesus rose from the dead, he said, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth for us to go into all the world, teach all nations, baptize them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, telling them to observe all that he has commanded us. And lo, he is with us even unto the end of the ages. Praise God. All right, praise God. So, um, remember, it, it, before Jesus Christ came, hundreds of year before, years before he came, it's been prophesied by Joel, Joel chapter 2, read it for yourself, uh, in which God tells and pronounced to the world, to all of us, that in the last days, in our time, he will pour his spirit upon all flesh, all people. Our sons and daughters shall prophesy, our old men shall dream dreams, and the young men shall see visions. Praise God. And there's so much dreams and vision, and even people in which Jesus translate to hell and show them the disaster down there in which millions of people lost their soul because they did, wasn't being careful. Uh, yeah, a lot of them believe in Jesus Christ, uh, but you have to live the life. Amen. But he tore a lot into heaven, and they, and they see the beauty of heaven, and he tell them for them to uh, let the world know, let all of us know that's on earth right now. And to live for him. Praise God. Believe in him. Live for him. Hold on to him. Praise God. Live holy. And because heaven will be ours. Praise God. When we, when we believe in him and accept him as our Lord and Savior. Read it for uh, Watch it for yourself. These messages. They put it on Facebook and more so on YouTube. YouTube is accessible for everyone. Praise God. Watch Greatest Heaven Visit Testimony. Greatest heaven visit testimony. You have to watch that. Praise God. Powerful, I'm telling you. A beautiful. Heaven is so beautiful. Streets made of gold. Mansions made of gold. The, the great city uh, made of transparent gold, as it written in Revelation. Praise God. And, and the flowers, everything that is alive in heaven. New body. Uh, praise God. You, we will be new body. Immortal body. Praise God. Landscape is so beautiful. We'll never die. No more hurt. No more pain. No more uh, discouragement. Uh, no more setback. Uh, no more hunger. No more thirst. No more death. Mm, no more disasters. Uh, hallelujah. All right. So that should be our all our aim. Praise God. So watch um, the YouTube, the message on YouTube, because God brought them to heaven and and bring them and bring them back, praise God. Some of them have near that experience. Some of some was translated, uh, dream vision. Yes, because it had been ripped, written. God told us years, thousands of years ago, in Joel chapter two. What? Uh, read it for yourself. The prophet Joel prophesied that in the last days, in our time, this is the last days. This is the end time. And how do we know? Because Matthew chapter twenty-four and Matthew chapter twenty-five tells us. 
when you see wars and rumors of wars and 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 what the, and the, the troublesome time of the of the earth and pestilent and disasters you know this is the end and also you uh, the example one of the prime example uh, is Israel uh, and when he said when you see the olive tree um, praise God amen budding and uh, and and you know this is the end and the, uh, and you see Israel became a nation in 1948 uh, uh, over 70 years ago and when when they when they the people of God and this was a set aside people for um, for the Messiah to come so that he could die and shed his pure blood to save all the people throughout the world so um, but they still are significant praise God amen and they are there um, for a sign also and and God's promise to Abraham through his wife Sarah not through his maid uh, Hagar his wife praise God yeah so the um, the Muslim must respect Christian and believe in Jesus Christ praise God amen so um, Israel is a sign um, before read the book of Jeremiah in which God promised and God tell them, warn them over and over if they don't um, drop their idols and false God and and mingling with the, the people, the messed up people around them that don't know God, the Gentiles and all of them at that time. Now, now whoever believe on Jesus Christ can be saved, both Jews and Gentiles, praise God. But at that time, people were serving, worshiping devils and offering their children up to the devil, um, burning them and stuff like that alive sacrifice and all kind of wicked stuff uh, and so the, uh, the people of God was uh, in those days before Christ came hundreds of the years before Christ came uh, they, they they subside and and start worshiping devils demons putting tattoos on marks on your body all those are de demonic you, uh, you don't expect to go to heaven unless you repent and believe in Jesus Christ and don't do that again uh, yeah so um, and it was prophesied to them if they don't repent and turn back to God fully. Uh, Jeremiah warned them, warned them over and over. God said uh, he will send the Babylonians to destroy them and take them away for 70 years. Uh, for 70 years and he will return them. Praise God. And Cyrus, praise God. God I believe it's Cyrus. Yeah, yes, somewhere there in Isaiah 54 in which uh, God tell him, within a dream or a vision to build back Jerusalem, build back his nation. And he did. Praise God. And that's why we praise God for President Trump. Uh, no matter how a leader before didn't know God, and when God talked to them, and they make a change and start doing what God said, because he's saying, no, um, Pre President Trump said, we can say Merry Christmas again. He said, uh, watch YouTube if we ever... Stay committed, or another word like that, synonym, to God, to our Creator. Our best years are, are, are ahead, yet ahead. Watch it. And the opposite of that is Obama, who is the Antichrist, ready to come back to destroy, who was trying to ban Christianity and, and fight against Israel and everything that's, that's godly, bring, up, bring curse on America open gateways for homosexuality which destroy a person a family a nation the, uh, several dec decades uh, ago hom homosexuality was a disease a mental sickness uh, if he practiced that uh, and so on why would he want to push it as a leader because it's satanic yeah he's the antichrist the, the bible call him this son of perdition the beast Man of sin, man of lawlessness. Um, you can read that in Second Thessalonians chapter two. Yeah, and he will be here when Christ come, and he's here, ready to come back again. So you know this is the end time. And we're talking about the end in which God uh, said, "Our uh, He will pour His Spirit upon all people, and our sons and daughters will prophesy, and the old man will dream dreams, and the young man will dream, see vision." Uh, so near that experience. And all of these um, people that um, saw hell and the terribleness in hell, uh, and they saw the beauty of heaven, praise God. Everything have to be matched biblically. 
Because you have some of them fake ones out there. They see the light. Uh, they, Satan can um, 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 uh, change into an uh, angel of light, the, um, the Bible says. I see the light. And then you're talking about other gods, such as karma and stuff like that. No. Watch the YouTube message, 23 Minutes in Hell by Bell Louise. Hell is Real, Heaven is Real by Jane Cora. Heaven is Real, Hell is Real by Jane Cora. 23 Minutes in Hell by Bill Louise. Uh, come on. How about this one? Robert Smith, Heaven and Hell. No, Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire Testimony. All right, Hell is not it. The final death is the lake of fire. That's weird. The Satan, the devil, the beast, that last world leader, and the, and the false prophet, the religious leader, that's telling the people it's all right to go along with the beast, the last world leader to take the chip, to take the mark of the beast. Don't you take that mark of the beast. Don't you take that chip in your body. Uh, they said it's the Pope. And, so, uh, and all of them are going to be cast into, into the lake of fire. And death and hell are going to be cast into the lake of fire. Which is the last death, which is the uh, second uh, second death, uh, final. That's going to be final. Praise God. Read it for yourself. Revelation chapter six, Revelation chapter seven, Revelation chapter twelve, thirteen, fourteen, Revelation chapter sixteen, seventeen, Revelation chapter nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two. Praise God. And I believe Revelation chapter eighteen, Mark, America. But America have to hold up. Uh -huh. Modern Babylon. Oh, come on. We have to stop all of these wickedness and repent and turn to God so we can stay a little longer. Praise God. But however, right now, praise God, everybody have to believe in Jesus Christ. Give their life to Christ and be saved. Amen. Uh, he's coming back. Uh, God can give us a few more years, but we must be ready. Praise God. Drop your partying, your drinking, your drugs, your uh, we hab uh, habit, uh, sexual habit, uh, uh, multiple um, partners and and orgies and and pornography, masturbation, uh, adultery, fornication. Come on, we have to stop all of that. Yes, and. Uh, wicked, what wickedness is also is taking children. Uh, like in Islam, I'm talking to Islam, Islamists too. Well, you can't just marry children uh, that are 9, 10, and so on, 11, 12. Uh, these are uh, children. Uh, get away from that, that land you in hell. Don't mess with children. And another thing also I want to note, don't mess with Christians. And a lot of Islamists, a Muslim, they are, they are uh, raping Christian women and taking them. Um, uh, that, uh, that's wrong. That's wickedness. And you will pay in hell. Yeah. The silent of kidna kidnapping of Christians. Egypt, Egypt's Christian community faced dangers that most other Egyptians need, need not fear. Threats of violence during church service, attacks on buses, filled with innocent pilgrims and, and their children, and assaults on successful Christian businesses happen all too frequent, all too frequent. That's wrong right there. Praise God. That's wrong. We must... Yes, that's wrong. Uh, stop messing with Christians, uh, Islamists, Muslims. Stop it. You will end up in hell. Christian praying, Christians pray during Psalm Sunday. Palm Sunday Mass inside the cave and cathedral, cathedral church there overlooking Cairo. They, 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 they did some uh, wrong stuff there. Uh, they, they, they must stop uh, um, hurting Christians. But the truth is that Christian women in Egypt face an epidemic of kidnapping, rape, beatings and torture and uh, Christian women in Egypt face an epidemic of kidnapping rape beatings and torture and that goes for 
uh, Saudi Arabia, the Middle East, all through the Middle East, uh, yeah, and all over the world, and Africa, and Asia. Don't mess with Christians and leave the woman, Christian women alone. Their body belongs to Jesus Christ. Uh, you will end up in hell and burn in hell, lake of fire forever. Innumerable girls and women vanish forever. I rebuke that in Jesus' name. Leave the Christian woman alone. And leave Christians alone. Stop persecuting Christians. You will end up in hell. This is a warning to all people throughout the world. You give your life and become a Christian yourself. Give your life to, to Jesus Christ so you can be saved from hell and the lake of fire. Watch Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire testimony. The lake of fire is, hell is everlasting and the lake of fire is everlasting, burning, torment. The lake of fire is trillion times worse than hell. Watch Robert Smith, Hell and Lake of Fire testimony. Watch, uh, watch um, Muhammad in hell. He's in the lake of fire there, burning, send back message that everyone must believe in Jesus Christ. And Muslim everywhere must believe in Jesus Christ and stop listening to their leaders uh, um, to continue in them in them wo those ways. He, he said, watch it yourself and hear what he says. When he was young, he, he, he was poor and he wanted to become like Jesus. It came about in the 7th century, approximately 600 years after Christ, 617 somewhere there, after Christ came and died and was buried and rose from the dead. And the message of salvation has spread everywhere. Now they hear it randomly. Uh, praise God. So they are aware. And so he wanted to become, have a nation of his own, he says. Watch it and hear what he says. Too much Muslim dropping into hell, he's saying. They must give their life to Christ. They're blowing up each other, killing each other and killing others. And dropping into hell. And thinking they will go to paradise and get a lot of virgins. Eleven virgins or something like that. Uh, how foolish you are. Stop it. You know you're not going to kill other people, God's creation, and then go to heaven. Jesus Christ died, shed his blood so you can go to heaven. And they can go to heaven. And leave Christian alone, and especially Christian females. All right, Innum innumerable girls and women vanish forever. And even if they are somehow rescued, their stories are thought to be so shameful that they are hidden as dark family secrets. You see that? They rape them. They, they, they do all kind of mess with them. And you see um, um, some people that don't have Christ in their life, of other religion, Muslim, Hinduism, uh -huh, and all kind of um, falsehood. They are empty. They, 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 they are heartless. Uh, yes. The attack varied. Some happened randomly. When a vulnerable female is spotted walking alone on a sidewalk, others are plot, plot by Islamist consortium who pay kidnappers as much as 3000 per girl. The assailants rape the victims, hold them in captivity, then demand that the terrified young woman convert to Islam. Others violently abuse them until they surrender. Have mercy. Perhaps once Western women begin to understand what's really happened in Egypt and all over the Middle East uh, and, and Africa and other, other part of the world. Boko Hamas, y'all better stop it, y'all end up in hell. Yeah, we, are, we all see more, we all see more help and concern for the traumatized victims of both religious and sexual abuse, said this person. Head in. I'm telling you, so stop stop that. Stop them wickedness. Leave Christians alone. You end up in hell. Uh, read it up for yourself. In the book, in the Bible, Acts chapter 9. When Saul was persecuting the, the church, the Christians, and Jesus knocked him off his high horse. Uh, yeah, he just Jesus Christ did. And blinded him. And tell him, it is hard for you to kick against the, the prick. And Saul said, who are you, Lord? I am Jesus Christ who you persecuted. And when you persecute God's people, you persecute Jesus Christ. Who has created the heavens and the earth, universe? 
who is God himself, the son of God, and who came to save mankind, who to deliver you from hell. Yeah, God created hell, that's right. Uh, hell was created for the devil and his, and his angels and them demons. Matthew chapter 25. So Jesus Christ created hell. Uh, and he's the one who's going to sentence you. And if you don't live by his word, he let you know by the word of God, from Genesis to Revelation, you sentence your own self to hell. Yeah, because we all head into hell. We are Adam fallen race. And God has promised from the beginning that the seed of the woman, not the seed of the man, the man carried the seed, but this woman going to carry a seed. Uh, and that's why Jesus Christ came into the world, into the world. The seed of the woman shall crush the serpent head, which is Satan. Uh, that deceiver that deceived mankind, Adam and Eve, our four parents. And in turn, his heel will be bruised. So in crushing the Satan head is when he died on the cross and took all, to all authority from Satan. All authority. Read it for yourself. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Jesus rose from the dead and said, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. And for us to go in all wor the world and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Ghost, telling them to observe all that he has commanded us. Yes, from Genesis to Revelation. And he's with us always until the end of the world. So, Jesus Christ is the only Savior. He created all things. He came into the world to save us. It's God in the flesh. He's the Word of God. Read it for yourself. John chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. The same was in the beginning with God, and the Word became flesh and dwelt among us. When God said, let there be light, there was light. The sun, the moon, star, all of that was created by God, by Jesus Christ. Because he's the living Word of God. And it became flesh. He became flesh to save us. Yeah, he born of a virgin. That's right. The seed of the woman, not the seed of the man. And you all know that all you people talk to Muslim, Islam, and Buddhism, and Judaism. Because the Jews is waiting for their, that Messiah, which, was G, which is Jesus Christ. He had was to come to sacrifice his life. He had was to come humble. All you Jews that don't believe in Jesus Christ, you're, you're Messiah. Now, if you watched on the, the message on YouTube, 15-year-old Israeli boy died for 15 minutes. Watch it by Israeli Live. Watch the 50-minute episode by Israeli Live. 15-year-old Israeli boy died for 15 minutes, and God showed him the end time. Obama is the one that's going to attack Israel to separate um, the divide Israel and the Messiah and Jesus Christ is going to show up and cut them down. And that's when you're going to cry. The Bible, in I believe in Isaiah, watch, listen, read it for yourself, look it up yourself. The Bible, I'm talking to you Jews out there that don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Messiah. You trod on your Messiah. You trod on your God who came and died. The Bible tell you that, or the word of God tell you, that when you see him, you're going to cry like a man lost, like a, a, a parent that lost their son, like a man lost his son, lost their child. You're going to weep and cry. Why didn't we believe, in, believe you? Why didn't we believe you? We hurt you. We crucify you. You, you see the extent of uh, that movie, um, Passion of Christ. Yes, and it's, it's, it's hundreds of times, probably thousands of times worse. Uh, I watch a YouTube message in which Jesus said, tell the person it was worse than that. It was worse than any, any picture or movie, or what they'd done to him. What you, you put him in the hands of, of, of the Gentiles, of the, uh, of the Roman government, and, and you rather choose Caesar to be your king than you, than you, your king, over your king, Jesus Christ. And you said, you don't accept him. You better accept him now because you'll die and go to hell just like everyone else. And for all you Islamists, you better drop all them foolishness and give your life to Jesus Christ. No Quran, uh, the Allah of the, of, the, of the Quran 
is not the same, uh, is not the God of the Bible. What you call God is not the God of the Bible. It's not the God of Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, God of Moses, the God of the prophet Moses, the God of the great King David, the God of the great prophet Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Daniel. It's not the same God. You're supposed to know that. Because there in Saudi Arabia, it goes way back where they used to worship right there at the Kabbal, the uh, sun god and and all kind of sacrifice they make up to the moon god. Yeah. So the Allah that you're talking about is not the God of the Bible. Believe in the God of the Bible. And you, and, you, and Jesus, there's a lot of Muslims giving their life to Jesus Christ since we're on that subject right now. Um, and there is a message in which uh, on YouTube, you, you have to look it up yourself, but I'll describe it for you, in which the Muslim guy... Um, I think he died, and so when he faced standing in front of the judgment and, and Jesus Christ on the throne, he said, Allah, I call upon yours, something to that effect. And Jesus said, I'm not your Allah. Your Allah is a demon in hell. So, so you, you, uh, I heard the word Allah mean God, but uh, not because we say God. There's so much uh, um, little gods uh, and, uh, and the devils and demons and worshiper out there. You have to serve the true God, the God of the Bible, the God of our, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You have to save, serve Jesus Christ. And no, the Bible haven't been tampered with. You have the, the, um, the, the, the old sea scroll that they found recently. It's matched everything with the Old Testament. And the New Testament is just 2,000 years ago, writing. And it's verified that Jesus Christ came into the world and he was crucified. The Romans crucified him. You must believe that. And not because Mary have Jesus Christ, that doesn't mean he, um, God have, have a woman, uh, have, have a, uh, no, a wife. No, it's no su such thing like that. It was prophesied from the beginning that the seed of the woman, not the seed of the man, the man carried the seed. But this is going to be uh, um, uh, one thing different from all other um, thing in creation as far as um, um, having family and having children, reproduction. The seed of the woman, that means she's going to be impregnated by the Holy Ghost. She was a virgin. Yeah, and we don't worship her, Catholicism. Uh, no, and we don't bow down to statues and worship and, and pray to um, saints or, or people. No, that's sacrilege or idolatry that will land you to, into hell. Watch these uh, messages that the Lord sent and show people, so much millions of people in hell because of sacrilege and, and idolatry. Millions of people in there because of sexual addiction and, and, and drugs and uh, marking on your body, worshiping Satan. When you put mark on your body, tattoo, you're worshiping Satan. Let me tell you, you might have put a, a, the word Jesus Christ. You worship Satan. You're not supposed to put mark on your body. To obey is better than sacrifice. First, First Samuel chapter 15. Don't try to make the sacrifice by putting a picture on, you, on your body of Jesus uh, and think you're going to go to heaven. No, you're being disobedient. You are told not to put a um, mark on your body. That's Satanist, Satanism. You're worshiping Satan. You're on the way to hell. And read that for yourself in Numbers chapter 18, 19, somewhere there. Yeah. All right. So we're going to get to the song. We could tell you more and warn you more. Watch a uh, message on YouTube. Uh -huh. um, Angelica Zambrano, Heaven Experience and Hell Experience. Uh, hell, heaven and Hell Testimony. Watch all of those. Uh, how about warning? Man see the judgment. You need to watch that. So many of them. Uh, here's some recent ones, praise God, uh, that I watch. Um, my testimony, Jesus saved my life from the occult and new age and new age movement by Cynthia Pang. And watch part one, part two, part three. Cynthia Pang. That girl been through so much beautiful Asian uh, young lady. She's trying to seek God. 
But all she had to do was to give her life to Jesus Christ. But she tried. Her, her parent, parent was in uh, was Islamist, I believe, a Buddhist. Uh, however, watch it for yourself. But she's trying to seek the Lord. Oh, beautiful young lady. Praise God. Powerful testimony. What the devil trying to destroy her. But she hang on. The Lord hold on to her because her heart was to seek the true God. And she find it. This for all of you. Muslim, Hinduism, uh, Hinduist, um, um, Buddhist, and all kind of um, false religion. And Illuminati, Freemasonists, Bilderberg, all of you. Uh, um, Satan worshippers, uh, Oprahs, and, and Hillarys, and all of you. Once you're in this life, you, you have you can be changed. Uh, you have whatever, even if you sell out your soul to the devil, um, Jesus Christ can break that curse. If you make a pact with the devil, Jesus Christ can break that curse. And all you soccer and football players, soccer players, soccer was developed in the in the in the spiritual realm, and is played in the spiritual realm with demons kicking around heads of human beings in resent. For resenting of God and us, God, we are created in God's image, and we have chance. They don't have any chance no more. So soccer is developed in the spiritual realm. And Jesus Christ said He hates soccer. I watch that YouTube. So many of them, because uh, they give glory to the devil, demons, and all these ball. And I watch a YouTube. You know, Baal in the Old Testament, years, thousands of years ago. Uh, we're in which people was worshiping sun god and all kind of demons. They call him Baal. Uh, and guess what? Jesus said it's the same term as Baal. So whether football, all these Baal people just were praising and worshiping and, and getting excited instead of getting excited about God and G God sending his son Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ come to save them. So it's the same worshiping of devils, Baal. Uh, watch it. It's, it's the message is on YouTube. Find it yourself. Uh, you want to go to heaven? You can find it's there. Listen, the Bible, the Word of God is true. Uh, uh, yeah. So YouTube, my here's another YouTube. My testimony: pornography, masturbation, toxic relationship, insecurities, wild parties, young men testimony. You need to watch that. My test, my testimony: pornography, masturbation. Toxic relationship, insecurity, wild parties. Watch that. A young man um, giving his testimony. One more time. My testimony of pornography, masturbation, toxic relationship, insecurity, wild parties. Young man, Jesus deliver him. Um, yes. And sexual immorality is one of the biggest things that land people into hell. Pornography, uh, masturbation, and all of those. Drunkenness, smoking, cigarette, all kind of marijuana. You hear it from me, uh, uh, Jamaican American international man. Marijuana is bad. What do they call it? Cannabis, medical marijuana, cannabis, uh, whatever they call it. No, it's not no natural herb. No, it land you into hell. Drugs open the door for demons to come and possess you. Not just that, you uh, you polluting your body and it's land you into hell. So ganja, marijuana, whatever you call it, uh, medical marijuana, uh, cannabis, all of those, and all, uh, them smoking lands you into hell. You're smoking, stop it, so you can go to heaven. Here's another YouTube. Amazing relationship, revelation of President Trump in the Bible. Amazing revelation of President Trump in the Bible. Uh, you know the story of Ahab and Jezebel, and they're in First Kings chapter nine and ten and before. Uh, type of um, is a type of Obama and Hillary. Thank God, the, Jesus trumped them and put in President Trump in <clears throat> YouTube that I just recently watched. Uh, Trump in America, we don't worship government; we worship God. Trump in America, watch it. We don't worship government; we worship God. That's the latest one I watch. Uh, Trump in America, we don't worship government, we worship God. And that's at the, um, the 2019 um, National Day of Prayer. No, that guy that went up there and talking about Trump, talking about um, other gods. No, he's talking about the God of the Bible. A young man went up there with the wrong attitude. Oh, I feel you. 
I, I feel you, our president, because he helps rescue um, some um, people, I guess, during um, some massacre, a recent massacre. And so President Trump um, bring him up to say a word. Uh, so uh, what President Trump is promoting is not the God of Islam. Uh, no, uh, the people have the rights to worship whatever they want. But we promote the true and living God, the God of the Bible. That's why he says uh, in other on YouTube, if we ever um, stay committed or faithful somewhere there to our creator, we only have one creator. It's not the Islam, it's our Hindus, our Buddhists, our, our Hare Krishna, our uh, Kama, or whatever. Uh, trillions of God they worship over there in India and all over the world. India must give the people, the Christian, their freedom, and people freedom to worship and to become Christian. M Buddhism and Islam, Islamists, Give the people, allow the people to worship the true living God. Saudi Arabia and all of you over there. Pakistan. And stop Pakistan. Stop hurting Christians and, and raping uh, young girls and putting Christians to slave. And demoting them and stepping on top of them. And using them to use clean toilet only. And you all end up in hell. Individually. Everyone have to give account of themselves to God. That's right. Revelation, read the last book of Revelation, from Genesis to Revelation. And it's stamped right there in Revelation chapter 22. So you have resentment against Christian, you're heading for hell. No matter what people, religion you are. And Christian must work together and love one another. Because the Bible tells us that this is how in John, read for yourself 13 and so, and so on. By this shall all men know that you are my disciple, disciples. When you have love one toward another. And we must not carry each other back and forth to, j to uh, court and so on. The Bible tells us about that. In Romans chapter 13, we, we must respect law enforcement, those that are enjo uh, enforcing proper laws and government and pay tax and stuff. Praise God. All right, now let's get to the song. Uh -huh. So Jesus Christ eminent is return. Return is eminent. Be ready, rapture ready. This is when the, uh, the Christians that are ready... Uh, living holy for Christ and living uh, a, a righteous life, uh, living daily, going to church, serving the Lord, praying, seeking, doing good, and giving the tithes and offering, tithes especially, and in ministering, trying to save others. When Christ come, boom, we'll, they will be gone, caught up in the heaven. And the Holy Spirit will be gone, and they're going to be terrible on earth. Demons going to be here on earth. Zombies. Because people that take the RFID chip, the microchip, the um, mark of the beast, Obama stuff, they're going to become like zombie. And, th and not just that, um, you cannot be saved if you take the mark, of, uh, mic the mark of the beast. Don't you take that mark of the beast. Don't you take that microchip in your body or anything like that. Praise God. Revelation, read it for yourself. All true revelation. Praise God. I already let you know. Revelation chapter 6, Revelation chapter 7, Revelation chapter... 12, 13, 14, Revelation chapter 16, 17, Revelation chapter 19, 20, 21, 22. God promised to create us new heaven and new earth, people throughout the world, man, woman, boys, and girls. And this is true, believing in Jesus Christ and living holy for him. Heaven is real, hell is real. Praise God. Uh, watch those messages uh, on YouTube. Praise God. Read the Bible. Seek the world. All right, here's a song, praise God, that you've been waiting on. Uh, we, we should know it was Christ's blood. Where, that save us. Praise God. For he is Lord, he is Lord and King, he is ruler over all. He has risen from, from the, the dead. dead.
we were lost by Jesus died upon the cross. But sure it was Christ that saved you and me. He went to heaven to come and get when he went to heaven to come again. He went to heaven to come back again. Save you and me. We enjoy everlasting life with God and Father. We we'll enjoy everlasting life with God and Father. We we'll enjoy everlasting life with God and Father in Him, in the new earth and heaven. You know why? We know that we were lost. So Christ Jesus died upon the cross. Knowing was the blood saved you and me. You and I know. Others should know. Everyone should know. Lord Jesus Christ saves you and me. For Jesus Christ is Lord. He is King of the world. Jesus Christ has risen from the dead. Yes, He is Lord. And every knee shall bow. Read about it from Genesis to Revelation. And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ. Should know it was that blood. We all should, should know, know it was that blood. Save you and me. He knows that we were lost. So Jesus Christ died upon the cross. For sure it was Christ's blood. Save you and me.